Hey, welcome to day four of Finding Freedom, our Pathway Devotions. My name is Rafara, part of our Manchester campus team, as many of you will know. Without further ado, let's go on. So we know from the last couple of days that we are free. We also know that we can live in that freedom, and we also know that we are rooted and established in the love of God. Now, the next step of living free is letting go and the power of forgiveness. That's right, the F word, forgiveness. I know, swearing in church, who can believe it? But it's true that forgiveness is a crucial and essential step. And sometimes you may not know that you're carrying any unforgiveness towards somebody. And so I would think it's just general good practice like, hey, God, who am I harboring any resentment towards? Who am I carrying something against and just making forgiveness a habit for you? But potentially right now, even as I say that word, your mind immediately went to a person. Well, hopefully today's devotion is going to help you with, with some of that. See, when we choose to forgive others, we are not condoning their actions. We're not saying that it's okay that they did what they did or what happened. Or we're not saying it's okay that what happened has happened. But actually, we're, we're letting go and we're releasing and we're entrusting in, I guess, God's justice and judgment, but also we're saying, you know what, I will not be affected and I will not be held captive. And remember the verse that we've been living in of Galatians 5 verse 3 says that, um, do not let yourselves be burdened again by the yoke of slavery. Unforgiveness is a yoke of slavery. And what you're doing by forgiving somebody is saying, I will not be held captive by this anymore. I will not let it lead to destructive thoughts or feelings or you know, feelings of anger or bitterness, all of which are like poison for your soul. In fact, if you want to be forgiven, you yourself need to forgive. If you want to bring something of offering to God, you need to go and forgive. Jesus, as he's talking to some of his disciples, actually, uh, in, in the Gospel of Matthew, he talks about how the sacrifice that we, when you bring a sacrifice to the altar, uh, but are har harboring any unforgiveness, leave it at the altar, go and reconcile with your brother, your sister, your spouse, whoever it is, and then come back and bring that sacrifice to God. Especially for you husbands out there. Um, I see this as a single man, so you know. Uh, but the Bible says that, you know, you know, if you your prayers to God won't be heard if you have any unforgiveness to your wife. My dad grew up teaching me that. So forgiveness sets us free. Forgiveness removes the bitterness, it removes anger, it removes resentment, all of these things, and it, it invites us actually into a space of joy, peace, and freedom. The F word. Oh, forgiveness, it hurts. But I actually want to create an opportunity right now to pray with you and for you that you can release that. And maybe the next step is actually that you go and speak to somebody, your small group leader, a friend, or even the person themselves, you know, if, if you feel the conviction to do that and, and reconcile for this. But the first step can begin right now by following the simple prayer. Just to repeat after me. Father God, Thank you that you have forgiven me and given me the capacity to forgive. I choose right now to forgive uh, for, and I pray a blessing upon their life and upon their day. In Jesus' name, amen. I know that was tough. I know that's a lot, but there's power in forgiveness. There's power in forgiveness. And so I believe that you're going to have a great day from now on. God bless you guys. Have a great day.